Meta has just come up with the Llama 4 family of models, which they're calling Llama 4 Herd. And the models that they are releasing is Llama 4 Scout, Llama 4 Maverick, and Llama 4 Behemoth. With Llama 4 Scout, it's a 17 billion active parameters model. With 16 experts, it's 109 billion total parameters. And it's got industry leading 10 million context window, which is pretty high. With Llama 4 Maverick, it's a 17 billion active parameters model, but with 128 experts, it seems to have 400 billion total parameters and the context window is 1 million. With the Behemoth model, they've gone all the way up to 288 billion active parameters. With 16 experts, it's a 2 trillion total parameters model, which is the largest ever released by any company. So the beauty of Llama 4 Scout is that it can now fit into a single NVIDIA H100 GPU and it also offers industry leading 10 million context window. With Llama 4 Maverick, they're saying it's the best multimodal model and it beats GPT-4.0 and Gemini 2.0 Flash across a broad range of widely reported benchmarks. If you want these models, you can download from llama.com or Hugging Face or we can even try out the web, which is meta.ai, and we're going to be trying it out towards the end of this video. Let's look into how they have pre-trained the models first. So in terms of the model architecture, they're saying that they're alternating dense and mixture of expert layers for inference efficiency. What that means is that we have this attention, which is a dense layer. Then we have feed forward network, which is a mixture of expert as they have shown here. And within the mixture of expert block, we have the router, which routes between different experts, in this case, 16 experts. And the output is then added to the output from a shared expert, which again passes to the attention, which is a dense layer. And this goes on and on. And that is how the Llama 4 Maverick model is designed. One of the other novelties of the Llama 4 model is the native multimodality. And they have incorporated early fusion in order to achieve that. And early fusion is what enables them to jointly pre-train the model with large amounts of unlabeled text, image, and video data. And in terms of the vision encoder, they're saying that they're using MetaClip, which has also improved the model. In terms of training, they have introduced a new technique and they're referring to it as MetaP. It seems to allow to set critical model hyperparameters such as per layer learning rates and initialization scales. So basically you have control per layer now in terms of the hyperparameters. You can set the learning rate per layer and you can set the initialization scales per layer in contrast to normally setting these uh, parameters at the network level. And they have focused on FP8 precision. And in terms of the data, the mixture of training consisted of more than 30 trillion tokens, which is more than double that of Llama 3 pre-training mixture. And it includes text, images, and video data sets. They have also introduced something called the mid-training to improve the core capabilities, but they haven't given much details about this mid-training. And then they have moved on to post-training with new models. Now let's look at the benchmarks that compare Llama 4 Maverick first with that of the uh, Gemini 2.0. O flash with DeepSeek and GPT-4.0. I've circled the best number in each of the categories so that we can quickly see which model is the best. In terms of the cost per 1 million input output tokens, we can see that Gemini 2.0 flash is the cheapest. And in terms of image reasoning, obviously Llama 4 Maverick seems to be better. In terms of image understanding too, Maverick seems to be better. And in terms of reasoning and knowledge, this is where DeepSeek v3.1 comes into play it seems to be better than maverick and in terms of the uh, live code bench 2 it seems to be better than that of uh, maverick again when it comes to other reasoning and knowledge tasks with multilingual mmlu and mtob long context for everything else maverick seems to be better compared to the other models Let's move on to Llama 4 Scout now. With that one, we can see that it seems to be better than all of the models, except for again, Live Code Bench, in which Llama 3.3 70 billion seems to be better than Llama 4 Scout. So this model is definitely not the one we should be going for if we want to go for any of the uh, coding tasks. And then comes Behemoth. So it's still not released yet, but we can see that straight away it beats all of the other big models such as Cloth Sonnet 3.7, Gemini 2.0 Pro, and GPT 4.5. The numbers are really far better compared to all these 
three other competitors. They've also given this plot, which is for needle in haystack, which is the retrieval problem. So the successful ones are shown in blue squares and the failure ones are shown in white squares. And these two are for the text. And this last one is for video. So the plot is all about retrieving something at a certain depth. For example, this white square is at the depth of 86 percentile, meaning that it's not. We start from here and we go down all the way. If it's at the end of the text, then the depth will be 100. So that's how the retrieval test works. And the first one is for the Lama 4 Maverick model. We can only see two white squares indicating that the uh, it has failed on these two occasions but with the scout model with text we cannot see any failure to retrieve and with the uh, video the context length is really huge here we're talking about 20 hours of video in the context which is equivalent to 10.4 million tokens and here we can see there are a couple of failure to retrieve but we don't have any problem with text at all when it comes to llama 4 scout so if your context length is really large then this is the model you need to be going for they've also shown this interesting video when it comes to long context if you give so much and ask magic lagos number and it's just able to retrieve that Let's quickly look at Ella Marina before we actually do some hands-on. So in the overall category, we can see that Llama 4 is now in the second place. Let's move on to some math reasoning. We can see that Llama 4 is at the third place and GPT 4.5 Preview and Gemini 2.5 Pro are still leading. And let's move on to coding in which it was lagging behind. But in this case, we can see that Llama 4 Maverick seems to be at the top spot, beating GPT 4.0 latest, Gemini 2.5 Pro and Grok 3. Let's also look into some instruction following. And in the instruction following, we see that Gemini 2.5 Pro seems to lead and Llama 4 Maverick is at the uh, fifth spot to test the model i've come to meta.ai so the good news is that we don't have to be logged in in order to play around with it but it does ask you for your date of birth anyways i'm just going to ask what model are you and it says i'm built on llama 4 by meta ai my knowledge cutoff is august 24th but i can still pull some more recent information what's on your mind okay so let's start with asking some usual questions which is that how many hours are there in the word strawberry so i've deliberately put more r's let's find out what it says let's count those r's there's one r in st another in str another in strr and another two in berry so there's five r's in the word but actually there are one two three four five six r's so it got that wrong and i'm going to ask another self-reflection question which is how many words are there in your response to this question Let's count the words in my response, got it. There are two words in my response. That's quite different from the response that we get from other models. So let's quickly move on to some coding test. I'm gonna start with the merge string alternately problem, which is that we are given two strings, word one and word two, and it needs to merge them by adding letters alternately. For example, if word one is ABC, word two is PQR, the output has to be AP, BQ, CR. I'm gonna copy it paste it here see the response that it comes comes up with it has come up with this answer it is also given example usage so i'm going to just going to copy the code paste it in lead code to see the result that's accepted fine now i'm submitting it and the submission went through fine too for the next problem i've chosen reverse word in a string for example if the input is the sky is blue the output should be blue is sky d so i'm just going to copy the problem statement with the examples I'm going to paste it here and then find out if it's able to come up with the code. It has come up with the code with the uh, examples and explanation. And it has come up even with the alternative solution, which is a one line solution. I'm just going to go with the first solution that it came up with. Copy it, run it in lead code. If I click on run, it's able to run fine. If I click on submit, the submission went through fine too. So that's a pass. Start a new conversation. I'm going to ask it write Python code to animate a ball bouncing inside a hexagon. It's using Pygame. It's giving us instruction to install Pygame and it's coming up with the code. I've created a Python file and I've pasted the code that it gave us. I'm just going to run this file now. It's The ball is actually bouncing slightly outside the hexagon. It's not quite perfect. So I wouldn't call it the best of animations. So there's a small bug in the animation. It has come up with a working version instead of throwing us some code with, with bugs. 
So to conclude, can we say that mixture of expert could be the next big breakthrough because it allows us to squeeze the models into smaller GPUs. It seems to be quite compute efficient and allows us to run huge models in a single GPU. We can also say that everyone is now chasing long context and we're going to have much more models that are going to be having long context. But when it comes to Llama 4, can we say that it's probably best for long context, but still with coding, there is room for improvement. So with that, I'm signing out and I will see you in my next video. Take care.